Hey, what's up? This is Nick from zappycode.com. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on Realm versus core data. The idea when you're building iOS apps, you've gotta save your information somewhere in some sort of database. Uh, are you gonna use core data, which is Apple's implementation, or some sort of third-party service, what I consider to be the most popular, realm now i'm coming to you in a little bit of weird circumstances i'm traveling but i really wanted to make this video so if you hear any loud noises from outside uh, that's what it is you, i'm going to try and include a picture of my setup here my laptop's on a trash can and my microphone's on a bowl but that's irrelevant let's jump into it so first let's talk about core data again this is code that comes from apple that makes it very easy to take objects and save them into a database so that you can pull them back at any point in time uh, and you'll notice this whenever you create a new project you know I'm gonna make a single view application here in Xcode we get this little checkbox do I want to use core data and by checking this box Xcode sort of gets everything set up for me uh, by getting me the Xcode data model and also inside of my app delegate getting some setup code to be able to create my data store and uh, Apple's implementation of core data it's very powerful there's a lot of things that it can do you can even change uh, what's underneath core data I know there's been a lot of uh, people who have corrected me and said, you know, core data is technically not a database. No, it's not, because you can change what's underneath rather than having a database. I think you could even get to the level of having uh, a text file store your information. But generally, it's just referred to and, and thought of as a database, a place to save uh, your information. But it, it's very powerful, and with that power, it can get really messy really quickly. And so it is not easy for beginners to pick up. In fact, it takes a lot of work and it's just a lot to get even simple things up and going. Versus, let's talk about Realm, uh, a third party database uh, that has been created by this company Realm. What's really cool about Realm is that it's open source so that anybody can uh, check out the code here. And Realm is a mobile first database, meaning uh, they created this database for people who are making mobile apps, uh, both iOS and Android. And we can probably assume uh, Windows, but is that died at this point? I'm not really sure. But uh, something that's cool here on Realm's website, right? Like when you want to work with Realm, you can say, oh, do I want to work in Java, Swift, or Objective-C? They're really great about having awesome documentation on both. They've got JavaScript.net, uh, just all of it here. So uh, with Realm, it's, in my opinion, much, much simpler to work with, to get things off the ground. So for example, if we click on Swift here, uh, they sort of have a little beginning intro about how to use this. First, creating classes to be saved inside of the database in Realm is really just as easy as making a class that uh, inherits from their object class, and that basically allows it to be saved inside of the database. And so you can see when I make it, when they make this dog class, if they want to have a name for the dog and an age, it's really just making variables, setting them equal to an initial value. You gotta do this weird at objective dynamic thing there, but you know, once you sort of look past that, uh, this is pretty familiar quote, Code, whereas in core data, well, you've got to go into the data model file and you have to create a new entity and then you have to specify the attributes inside of that entity. And it can get a little bit messy there. And in fact, the thing that I really love about this, let's say I want to add a helper method to this class. All I do is write a new function inside of there and boom, it's running. Whereas in core data, uh, you can do that, but it takes a little bit extra setup and there's sort of this Aja magic stuff going on in the background. It can get a little bit uh, fuzzy there. Uh, and you can also see here in Realm, whenever you want to create a new object, it's as simple as just saying the name of your class with parentheses. You can't do that with core data. You have to get access to a context uh, first and then sort of bring that in. So again, kind of point here, Realm for simplicity. Um, and as far as like saving things, uh, Realm, basically you got to get access to the realm this is maybe the same equivalent as if you were getting the context in the core data world so those are kind of about the same there uh, but in general i think it's pretty safe to say uh, that working with realm is much much simpler now that said uh, the more and more complex of an app that you're going to create uh, core data is going to do a better job for you like when you want to get into those really advanced sort of technical situations uh, core data is probably going to be a better fit than realm now some people may I argue with that from what I've heard and talked with other developers that's just sort of the general situation as things get really advanced uh, you're gonna be wanting core data versus realm now that said uh, the number of times that you're gonna need that maybe I'd probably say 99% of apps are gonna do just fine if they use realm 
for the data store where it's really probably a rare case that you would actually need core data. So it's really up to you about which one you'd like to use. Uh, and so I think a really good way to show to sort of show some examples and differences between the two uh, is walking through an app that uses both core data in one instance, but then also Realm in another. So I made a little to-do list app, uh, one version that uses Realm, one that uses core data. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here's the app that I built. It's a very simple to-do list. You can just go ahead and hit a plus button here anytime you want to make a new to-do. So let's say I need to walk the dog. I can do that and I can check a little box here to say whether or not this is important. So I hit add and then it shows it up inside of a table view here. If I ever want to complete a to-do item or you know essentially delete it, I just have to tap on that, hit the complete button and boom, it's gone. So I'm gonna show you first how I created this app in Core Data, what it sort of took to get that off the ground and then show you what it looks like in Realm. So first, let's look at the core data version. Uh, I needed to create this XC data model. Uh, this was automatically generated when I checked that box at the beginning of the project, but you know, you still had to come in here and I had to say, I wanna create a to-do item and I want it to have these two attributes, a name, which is a string, and uh, important, which is a Boolean, right? So very simple example here, but I had to, kinda had to go through all of this. Uh, and then for uh, starting out here, if we want to create a new to-do item, uh, so inside of here, let's see, let's add to do item. That's where I did this. So uh, if someone hits the add button, first I get a got, got to get access to the context. Uh, that takes this whole huge chunk of code. If you've ever worked with core data, you've probably typed this out uh, a time or two. Then whenever you want to create a to do item, you've got to, you know, throw in uh, that context inside of here to make that. Uh, versus remember in Realm, we just had to say, you know, the dog with the parentheses. In this case, it'd be to-do item with the parentheses. But I'm getting my head of myself. We're looking at core data. Uh, setting the attributes here in core data, pretty straightforward, not all that hard. Uh, we can save the context with this awesome helper function that Apple created for us inside of the app delegate. Uh, pretty straightforward. As far as pulling information out of core data, so inside of our uh, table view controller where we're listing out all of these to-do items, uh, you know, as far as getting them, we have to get access to that context again. Uh, then we're going to go do a fetch on that context. And this is going to give us back an array. And we're gonna eventually going to put this inside of uh, this array here inside of the class. Uh, and then we can get those things to show up. And, you know, we had to write a little bit of code here for, you know, whether or not was it, it was important. Now, again, there is a way to add this into a class. So you don't have to have this logic here, but it's a little bit harder to get set up with core data. Um, but, you know, really not all that bad when you want to complete one of these to-do items. Uh, essentially, all you've got to do is delete it. Pretty straightforward, right? We just get that context and we say delete. Not bad. All right. So that's what it looks like in core data. In the Realm world, uh, first, and this should not be overlooked, we had to get Realm installed into our project. So I went ahead and used uh, CocoaPods for this. So if you're someone who already uses CocoaPods for everything, well, you know, it's really not that much harder. But if you're someone that's kind of pure with the Apple frameworks and you don't like to bring third party code in a lot, uh, this could be a big step for you. And it just makes things that much harder to get up and running, especially if you're sharing your project with other people that is something to consider that it, there's a whole step of getting realm into your project where with core data it's just already there uh, now here inside of realm first uh, we didn't have to have the data model d uh, in order to create uh, our class we just had to say i called this the to do thing uh, again subclass that object but i just said you know it has a variable name name which is equal to an empty string and important which is equal to false so that's our boolean there i was able to add this little helper method here name with importance so this kind of handled the logic about whether or not that uh, emoji exclamation point should be added in front of important to do items uh, so this, in my opinion, is a little bit simpler to work with here than in core data. Uh, when we want to add a new to-do item, look at this. So I kept the uh, code commented out uh, that was used for core data. So this is all. It, this is the code that it took in order to add uh, something from core data. When we want to add with Realm, this is all it takes. I mean, it's not like it's earth shattering smaller, but this is definitely smaller, right? We don't have to work with that context or anything. I love this. When I want to make a new to-do object, I just said to-do thing with the parentheses, boom, we're ready to go. 
Okay, and then as far as saving this, right, I had to get access to the realm. This can be viewed the same as getting the context, but this line of code uh, is much, much simpler than this line of code of going and getting that context. Uh, next thing, so let's say we wanna list out all these uh, to-do items inside of realm. This is where I think it really shines, right? So before, this is the code that it would take in core data, whereas in realm, oh, that's all it takes just right there. We just say uh, realm.objects give me all the to-do things. And if we wanna go ahead and do filters on that, Realm is really great with that. Core Data obviously can do that as well, but again, kind of point to Realm, uh, I think it's much, much simpler. Uh, one thing here inside of this uh, showing what's in, gonna be inside of the table view, we were able to take advantage of that helper method to make this code a little bit cleaner. And finally, when we want to complete a to-do item, uh, we were going to delete it. This is a, essentially the same amount of code that we had to do uh, with core data. So overall, in my opinion, uh, I really like to use Realm when I can. Uh, if there's some very, very special situation, I'll go ahead and roll with core data. Uh, but I really like using Realm just because I think it's very straightforward, easy to understand, and uh, is just kind of a joy to work with. Their documentation is amazing where with core data, yeah, it's a little bit more work to understand uh, what you need in order to get things done. So I hope you enjoyed the comparison between the two. I'm sure I missed a thousand different points and there's uh, something uh, that you would love to share. Please leave it in a comment to the video down below. Uh, and if you'd ever want to learn more about how to make iOS apps work with Realm, something like that, uh, please hit me up at zappycode.com. I've got a ton of courses for you there. Anyways, uh, thanks for checking this out.